Hey up everybody. I'm on to part, part five of my pipe work videos and uh, on this part I'm going to I'm going to cover the hand pump. So I've I've already got the hand pump made and you can see that in another video I'll put, I'll put a link up for that if if you're interested. Now because I'm doing the meter made and I, because I've put a trailing truck on it's um it's going to alter all the position of the hand pump as per the drawings anyway. If you are putting a trailing truck on it does tell you the positions in the handbook at the back of the book where to locate the new holes for the pump to for the pump bracket to fix. Well that's okay in a four wheel sweep P but I've, I've done a meter made which has got six wheels and this has brought the wheels further back where the holes would have been. So I'm going to have to look at this in a bit more detail and <clears throat> and try and ma manufacture a bracket to sit the pump on and this is my idea here I've got the um, reversing stand bracket on the frame and I, I did put an hole in the um, in the gusset that goes down so I can manage to get this part of the pump through that hole and that leaves enough room to tighten the pipe on on the other side and then where the pump's going to come down just here there's the trailing truck control bar fixings there's two screws so I've got to avoid the brake shaft I've got to avoid this reversing bracket and I've got to avoid the cutout for the trailing truck so my plan is I'm going to try and fabricate a bracket that contours the frame there so I can sit sit the pump on this flange that's on the pump onto that bracket so I'll take you over to local and I'll just have a quick look at that right so looking at this in real life then this is the rear of the loco uh, trailing truck rear wheel bracket for the uh, reversing lever and there's a hole in this bracket which I put in when I made it uh, I did that specifically because I knew I might have problems with pump and it's paid off dividends that so uh, there's my two fixing holes for the control bar on the truck that's my brake shaft and what I'm going to try and do I'm going to try and make fabricate a bracket to come over this these two holes so I can use them two fixing screws uh, put a bracket on here and then hopefully I can put the union nut through the hole if I get it right way up through through the hole like that so I can get access to this nut for the pipe and then uh, the bottom pipe is going to come in loop into this and I think I can just manage to get use them two screws it's going to be tight but I think I can just do it
Now I've got the pump fitted, I'm going to move on to the pipe work and I'm using 3 16 pipe and just an olive or a nipple, whatever you want to call it, on each end, 3 16 pipe in the middle. Two of, so the top one's going to go to the tight valve, up through the cab floor to the top of the hand pump and the tank one's going to come a bit further back and uh, loop down and, and feed into the bottom of the hand pump. So I'll reconvene over on Loco when I've got these two pipes made. So that's the pipe finish for the clack valve to the top of the pump and then that one's finished now for the tank feed from the tank up to the bottom of the pump. So I'll go over on Loco now and uh, see if they fit. Another part of jigsaw completed. So I'll move on to next uh, next item in my next video. Probably axle pump or balance pipe. I'm not sure. Something to do with piping anyway at tanks. So I'm going to sign off for now then. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.